Why? 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 Hey man, what's good YouTube and welcome back to a new video. It's your boy Michael. Welcome back to a new video, man. I said today, actually today's gonna be a, a, a relaxed video. Most people have been recommending me to do this for a long time, but most people wanted to know how I do my thumbnail. Actually, it's not, it's really easy. To do thumbnails like if you if you check my videos like when i started youtube my thumbnails was trash it was i used to do like my thumbnails used to be like just this one like one is black and i just put like something at the top like the the title of the thing is for like some pictures crops and pictures i'm just putting on it but then as you, as you see time as time progressed and everything progressed i got better and better at it you need three apps for this thumbnails there's three apps that you need for the thumbnail the first app that you need is Fonto. Like the Fonto app is like your friend, like it has to be your closest friend for you for you to make a good like thumbnail for YouTube. And the second thing you need is the blur app. I'm gonna leave a link of all this app link in the description so you guys can like find the app and use it. And the third app you need is Snap C. It's like a Google type app that you use. That's what I use for my thumbnails. That's what you see you see like if you see my thumbnails, you know how I'm like it's really, really, really like good. I guess really like uh you could tell us like a professional YouTuber who did that. Huh? Thumbnail, you feel me? Like, it's actually not hard to do it. So, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. And let's get started. To, to show you guys, I'm gonna create a thumbnail for this video. It's like basically all you need to do is like pose for like a thumbnail. Like, let's say um, this thumbnail, I wanted to, I, I'm gonna do like this just to show like the apps I'm gonna use. I'm gonna be like, I'm like, something like this. Bruh, look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Mostly what I do is uh, I go back to the video and then scroll scroll through the video and look at the, the, the place that I think, like the part of the video that I think is the best, it could be a best thumbnail for me. I just take a screenshot of it, like I just screenshot it. And then like I crop it and like I move it. No, not I move it, I just crop it. As, I stick, as you take the screenshot, you could crop the, uh, the picture if you want to. So I just crop it, make it a little small, just to, like fit the thumbnails. And for a thumbnail size, I think uh, to make a thumbnail, this is something that most people don't know before making a thumbnail. For a thumbnail size, you need a um, 1280 to 720 pixels tall. Like it's gotta be 1220, 1280 wide and then 720 like tall. Most people don't know that. So anytime you make a thumbnail, it's like you can see the thumbnails like it, it does squeeze them. Or it's like messed up. Like that's not it's not, not fit the video. You know? But that's the um the size you need for to make the um the thumbnail for your video. First you gotta take a you take a screenshot of the pictures that you need, and then secondly you just go on Google. Like for me, I'm gonna do like I'm I'm doing a thumbnail for this. All I need is the three apps that I'm gonna use: the Fonto, the Blur, and the Snapseed. I just need the app like the logo for the app. I just need that. That's all I need. Yeah, you use PNGs. Use PNGs. That's what I use. I use PNG. Make sure you like when you search for a picture. Make sure you set the PNG file. All right. So for me. All I need is um, the Fonto, the Blur, and the Snapseed. I, all I need is like the logo for all three of them. So I'm gonna just go on Safari real quick. Search for um, Fonto, thumbnail. I mean, not thumbnail, Fonto, logo, PNG. You always search for the PNG file, like the PNG picture. I just search transparent, and then you just click on image. You just save, all you have to do is just save it. All you gotta do is just save it. Just find the one that's transparent. I think this is transfer, I'm not sure. Right, just find that. All you gotta do is just save it to, um, I save it to downloads. Now basically you could do it on your phone. You could just like save it to your phone and then you look for the rest. Like you look for, um, snap, C, logo. So basically yeah, you just get the snap, C logo transferring on. Find the transparent ones, just grab it, save that one too. Save it. So you basically you save all three of them. And then after that, then you hop on the Fonto app. So like basically, right now I'm gonna hop on the app on my phone because I'm using my phone to record. So I'm gonna hop on the app on my phone and just do a voiceover over it. Just so you guys know what I'm doing because I, I can't record and then you know what I mean. So yeah, I'm just stop right here and just hop on the phone and show you how to like finish it up. 
So after you get all three apps, now you, you just you hop on the Fonto app. So the first step you do is take the pictures that you need, all the pictures that you need, like for the um, the, the um, for the picture, like me, like oh I need this, like just so I just go through my videos to get a picture. The second thing you need is to find um pictures on, on Google that you need. The third step that you need is to get on the Fonto app and find the right size for the thumbnails. So you search for the Fonto app, open the Fonto app. You click on the camera. Hold up. So you click on the um. This little camera beneath the um. You see this a uh, that's a three. That's a three lines. There's a camera and there's a share button. You click on the camera button to show you different options. So you click on the camera button. Then you click on plain images. Then you click on just the black one, you click on the size at the top, you click on custom size, and then you change the size from that size to 1280 to 720. Then you click OK. Then you click on the share button. Right there, it's close to it. You click on the share button and save and use. Then, then as it comes on the screen, then you can use it. All right, so there's different types of blur editors. So you just search blur editor, right? And um, you search it in the app store or whatever store you use. The first one is not what you use, the second one. The second blur editor is the right one. The one I use, that's the one you should use. So that's the one you should click on. I just had to like show you guys which one is the right one. You click on the three, three lines, click on um, add photos and then you click on the photo you want to use and you bring it into the thing you just make it big like I'm doing it, it, it doesn't matter how you do it just make it however you want to do it you make it as big as you want to as small as you want to I mostly add like two you add another picture and I'm about to add the um, the, um, the apps to it so just click on the same thing add photos go add the, um, the, the blur add it to it drop the size a little drop it a little down and then boom there you go and then we, we add all three of them to it now we add the font tool and then we add the snap seed and then we just finish it yeah so that's how that's basically how we do it and then you just add the text to it once you add the text that's the final stage from here you just you just Choose the style, you just click on the style, choose the style you want to, you just click on text, make it, if you want to make it black, any color you want to make the text, the stroke, if you want to make the stroke, I mean, I like to make my stroke black, and if you want to make the background black or something, just any color you want to make it, that's how, you just, mine is black right now, so just make it black, any color you want to, that's, that's basically like the title, and then I add, like, I'm just about to add the snap, see the names of the ads. To all of it again, just to make it look presentable. So yeah, I'm about to add Snapseed, the Quanto, and the, uh, the Blur editor. Just to make it look like presentable. So yeah, that's basically it for my thumbnail. Alright, so you click on the share and you click on save image and it should successfully save the image to your camera roll so you can check it. Alright man, so that's the first step that you need to um, create a thumbnail and get done with the font tool part of the video. Finding the size, the right size, finding the apps, finding the, um, the pictures from the, uh, everything that you need. That's the most important part that you need to like a thumbnail. Put in the, um, the words and everything inside. Finding the right color, finding the right background color you need for um, the thumbnail, your thumbnail text. So that's basically like the most important part. So right now, you gotta hop into the blood editors the app and I'm gonna show you what like what you need to do. The main reason why I use the blur editor is like for my thumbnails. I don't I, I want it to be like a little like I don't know how to say it but like 
the thumbnail I just made is it's perfect. You can use it like that. By using the blur editor, it just like it helps it. It, it makes the, um, the thumbnail smoother. Like, I'm gonna show you the thumbnail that I did like right now. Like the normal thumbnail that I have, like without using the blur editor. I'm gonna show you the one I used the blur editor for. Like you won't see it, like the difference, like it's like it blurs some part you don't need see you put a picture inside you want to blur the edges out to make the picture look like just one picture you just blur up the parts the the edges out so it makes it look like cool that's the main reason why i use it so i'm gonna show you guys how to do that and then we will hop into the snap c app to make the um the thumbnail just look more professional so yeah let's get it so with this step you open the blur edge app it's gonna show like a something like a subscribe thing. It's gonna show like a subscribe thing. Don't worry about it. Just skip that part. It's, I'll show you what to do. You just click continue with limited version. You don't need to like buy nothing with it because it's free. It's a free app. And then you click on the picture, like the thumbnail picture you just did from the font tool. You just click on that picture. And then you lower the um, you lower the blurry you lower the, the blur thing to um, ten or nine it depends ten or nine and then you zoom in just zoom into the picture and just start blurring the parts out that's basically all like you need to do literally that's all you need to do so you just blur the parts that you need to blur out and then like I'm blurring the edges of this one I just blur the edges out that I don't need so I just blur it out. Yep, that's basically all you do. Yeah, so I did that for the um the the other side. So I'm doing this for the snap seat. Then we're about to blow the snap seat part off. So you just do the same thing for the snap seat. Yep, just blur everything out. For the next part, I decided to blur the whole like background out so it could only show me in the background. So I just blur the whole background out, erase like make sure everything is blurred out. Just blur everything out. Call myself, crop myself out slowly. Just make sure I crop myself good. And then blur the whole background out. Yeah, That's, that was the goal, that was my plan. To blur the whole background out. So it's just me in the background. You can raise the whole thing to 100 to see if you're missing the point. Like, if you're missing any part of it. Like, you didn't blur right. Just raise it to 100%. After that, you just drop it back to, um, 10%. So yeah. After that, you just start. I just start blurring the font tool, the last app, the font tool part. I just blurred it out, make sure everything was good. Blur the whole font tool part out to get the um, the parts that I don't need, the edges that I don't need. I blur everything out, and then make sure everything was in the right order. And then yeah, that was it. After I'm done with it, I drop it down to nine or ten. It really doesn't matter. I drop it down to 10 any way I want to like 10, 11, 12, 13 it really does not matter you choose what size but make sure it's not really on it's gotta be like from 13 down so yeah that's what I picked you click on the right arrow and you click on the download arrow and then you click on continue with limited version and it's gonna save to save to your camera roll from there you just hop straight into the um, Snapseed app Alright man, so we just got done with the um the blur edit part of the video. So yeah, that's like that's also like if you if it's optional actually, if you don't want it, you don't have to do it. But I do it to help my thumbnail look way better. So if you guys like that part, man, make sure to like the video. Let's hop on to the next part, which is the main part of the thing, which is Snapseed. This app is like it's like an editor, right? It has different types of like color background different types of textures that you can use so actually this is what happened when i was like i was going through the edits i was just playing around with it i'm gonna show you how to do it just play around with it and just find which one is perfect for you i was just playing around with it and then it asked me it actually asked me do you want to save um as like a um, do you want to save it as something that you're going to use for your thumbnails and i was like yeah actually so i saved it so i actually don't know the, like the um was it, I don't know how to say. It. I don't know how to say this. I don't know how I did it. I I know some of it, but I just don't remember most of it. I'm gonna show you the easiest part, like the easiest step, the ones that you can do to make a thumbnail look good. So yeah, let's get straight into it. Let's hop back on the phone and let's do it. The next step, you open Snapseed. Click on the open at the top and select the picture from the camera roll. 
I already had the edit saved for mine, so I just clicked on my last edit, and he like it, it, it just like changed changed the picture to a thumbnail for me, like you know what I mean? Like just see, boom, it changed the thumbnail for me. Now you see, it looks exact. It looks like a, it looks perfect now. It looks good. That's how like that's basically how I do my thumbnails. I have an edit saved for my to make my thumbnail look like this. But I'm gonna show you guys how to make your thumbnail look good. So then I click OK and I click Export. I click Save and then it saves and I modify it. And then boom, it saves to my camera roll. That's all I do. So the first step is you pick up the picture you wanna use for your thumbnail. You click on Tools and then you click on the Tune Image. You just you just mess with it. You just play with it. You just drag it left and right just to find the perfect like once the perfect background you like however you it fits you just keep playing with it just adjust it like that's that's what i did i just kept playing with it that's so i actually didn't know what to do i just kept playing with it playing around with it looking for the right ones to use and then move on to my saturation make the saturation go up move on to the next one i was just like playing around with it just getting the right balance just play around with it a lot make sure you get the right um one that you whatever suits you, you just pick it up and just like you use it that's that's how i that's how i did my thumbnails so basically you just Actually, one more thing. Uh, I just figured out that you, the the way I saved my my thumbnail edits, you can save yours too. All you gotta do is just scroll all the way to the end, and there's gonna be a plus there. You just name, you just type the name of the edit that you want to save. Thumbnail edit. I'm just title the thumbnail edit. Save it. So anytime you want it, like anytime you come and create, you want to create a thumbnail, you just you, you don't want to go back and stress yourself trying to find the right balance and everything you can just save that and then boom you just don't need to like struggle no more all right man so yeah that's it that's how you make a professional thumbnail so yeah i hope this video helps a lot of people out especially like people who want to who take like youtube a little serious and that want to make like professional good looking thumbnails i hope you i hope this video helped you a little bit like if you actually learned something from this video man make sure to subscribe to your channel because this was my videos you know what i mean and thank you guys for watching this video man again once again make sure to like comment and subscribe and yeah that's how you make a thumbnail so yeah i'll see you guys in the next video
from Sunday, started late night. Started hanging with the members, then you blew a few pipes. And you gon' do the dash and see them blue lights. A lot of people down in this chance that you might. You got God on the side, but it's hard to do right. Don't pay the maters, no matter, you can be what you like. Well, I'm out, man. Trying to lead us in the past, running for a new life. Hard headed, I grew up resilient. They want no hero, so we look up to the villain. For generations, it's my side of town been drilling. Yeah. Go for the knuckles, for the knuckles. Hey, 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 guess can't take it. Yeah.